one thing that may be confusing some of you is I'm looking at this at 50% down here in this bottom right hand corner. 50% actual size, you're probably looking at this at 25%. And the reason for that is you're on a 4K monitor, at least the large computers in the Mac lab. I'm on a 5K monitor, so that means I have four times the resolution you do. So that's the reason for the di difference in size. At 50%, your image is um, actually this big at 50%. Um, so and hit command minus a couple times to get back down. Now, if I want a square, that means the width of this has to be one half the height, right? Because if I want a square, I'm gonna double this width. So we can go, now you know about image size, hopefully, but under image, there's image size and canvas size. Image size changes the entire size of the image. It tells you what that size is and gives you a chance to change that size. Well, this is not two by one, or excuse me, yeah, two by one. So we wanna change the canvas size. And when I bring up this dialog box, you're going to see by default on this, it came up on pixels for me. If this came up on inches or anything else, just change it to pixels. And look at the width. The width here is 2340. Now, can you multiply this? Can you double it in your head? If we want to double the width, you know, two times two is four, three times three is six, four times four is eight. So we've got four, six, eight, zero. 4680, right? That's what double it is. And we got 4160 for the height. So we want to change the height to, remember, we want to change it to 4680. So we change that 4160 to 4680, but we don't want to grow the height from the center of this object. We want to grow the height from the bottom up so it becomes taller because Photoshop is going to be really good at filling in this gradient. It's going to be really terrible at trying to add pixels down here. So this does not work on all images. Do you understand? What we're going to do right now is we're just going to add those extra pixels to the top of this canvas. So click OK. Photoshop adds those extra pixels. And now we got this white band up here. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Scotchko, what good is that? Watch. This is where Content Aware Fill is magical. You can see this gradient here. It's kind of from light to darker to darker to darker. Well, we need to select this top rectangle. So I'll, the second tool down is the marquee tool. I'm going to click and hold. The rectangular marquee should be here for you. But if not, Go ahead and click on it, click and hold if you need to get to the rectangular marquee, but select it. Make sure up here you don't have any special settings. Nothing is going on up here. Okay, in the options bar. Now I'm going to come outside, above, and to the left. It doesn't matter where I am, because when I start clicking and dragging, it's going to start from that very edge of that canvas. And I want to come down and select just a little bit. If I zoom in, you're going to see just a little bit of that color. And then Content Aware Fill. Now, I always just hit Shift Delete, but if I go under Edit, uh, Fill, and it says Shift F5, Shift Delete, the backspace key for you PC people. Look, if I don't click on this, and now watch the keyboard shortcut. If I hold down Shift and hit Delete, the backspace key, I pull up the Fill dialog box. This is worth learning because Shift Delete, Option Delete, Command Delete do three very important things in Photoshop. But if you can't remember this, just go up to Edit, Fill, wherever that was right there, and you get the exact same dialog box. And by default, I don't know what you get. Uh, you, you're going to get something in here. 
content aware is what you want. And, you know, color is checked. Leave the blend mode to normal, the opacity to 100, and click OK, and watch Photoshop do its magic. Now, I'm going to, Command D is delete. This is a selection. To get rid of the selection, you go up to select in the menu to deselect. Command D, deselect, Command D. These shortcuts are worth looking at. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit Command 1, which means take me to 100%. Then I'm going to hold down the space bar to get the hand tool. Just drag this down, and you can see, pretty darn good. But what happens, see these little stars right here? Isn't that a pain in the butt? They don't look real. They're all on one line, and they repeat the exact same intensity. Okay? Let's stop right here because we've added this. Let's come back and I'll show you one of a dozen ways to patch these things and to make them go away.